Well, it is the fourth week of LCS, and Cloud9 has decided to stop protesting. Officially, they've decided to start winning. I'm joined right now by Blabber with coverage brought to you by Alienware to talk about uh, their big win over 100 Thieves just now. So, Blabber, uh, you guys decided it's time to stop, uh, you know, choosing items, throwing games, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, what, what made you decide to win the games now? Um, what made me decide to win the games? Well... Losing to CLG really, really sucked. So we didn't want that to happen again. Yes. Um, so we decided that we need to start winning again. Yeah. Have you helped uh, TSM at all through this? Have you? Is there, do you guys have a club now about the losing to CLG stuff? We actually almost lost to TSM. We we tried to help them out, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I stole Baron at the last second. So it was actually my fault that that we won. That's true. That's true. I just I just meant they obviously lost to CLG today. Maybe they could use some like support from you guys. So like, oh, you know, this is it happens sometimes. Uh, all right, we were just talking before the start of this. You got thanked for inting last week. Is that the first time you've ever been thanked for inting? Yeah, I got an email saying thank you for inting, um, and they thought I did it on purpose. Uh, I would never int on purpose, just for everyone to know on stage. I would never int on purpose. Yes. Um, but yeah, it was pretty funny. Did you reply? I did not reply to him <laughs> okay, uh, or her, uh, whoever yeah, sends me, yes, them or them, yes. 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 All right. Uh, well, glad to know. Okay. So there was a lot of doom and gloom last week uh, with all the news and a lot of people thinking that you guys would not be capable of winning or being competitive in the league. At least some, some fans were saying that. Uh, how, how do you think you are, where do you think you stand against some of the other teams? I think there's a chance you guys end up in sole possession of first place after today. I'm not sure because it was like TL and Fly. I think if Fly loses. If Fly loses both games, yeah, yeah. we'll be in sole possession of first First, I believe. Uh, wait, TL won today, no? No, they lost. Oh wait, they, uh, but they lost yesterday. They won today. Yes. I think I think they'll be six and two as well. Okay. Uh, so I think we'll be tied with them. But yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's right. That's right. Sorry. Uh, but either way, you could end up being in in first place. So I guess back to the question, which is, how good do you think you are compared to these other teams? Where do you rate yourself? Uh, personally, it's hard for me to tell because we haven't really well. So like the top teams right are right now are TL and FlyQuest. Yeah. I would say um, with TL with Core. I would say is probably the strongest team, but it's hard to tell because we haven't really scrimmed TL or FlyQuest um, with TL with their full roster. We haven't scrimmed in FlyQuest at all. Um, and I would say 100 was a top team too, right? But we beat them today, I would say, pretty easily. So I definitely think that we are probably considered one of the top three teams, but we'll see after tomorrow. Uh, with with 100T, do you, do you think... I'm keeping it out for them. Do you think that they are maybe not as, as good? Because a lot of people, I think, were suggesting that it was like them and TL, uh, them and TL and you. So what what is your verdict on TL after having played them today? You mean 100? 100 T, yeah. yeah. Sorry. Um, I definitely think that 100 are weaker than they were last split, I would say. Um, I don't think they're a bad team necessarily, and I think they can definitely be good. But it feels like at the moment they're, they're a bit weaker. Maybe they haven't adopted the meta properly or... Um, haven't shipped their play style from just like win bot win the game um so maybe that's like what's holding them back but i'm i'm not too sure i just i don't think they're that strong right now the the other thing uh that i wanted to ask you about was eg because a lot of people have been uh i guess at the start of the year there was a lot of hype around eg people were like oh my god this team's gonna be so good obviously they performed well in lock-in um but it does you know it seems like they've fallen off so i'm curious what you think of them I actually, I, I don't know why EG have fallen off. Um, I think that in lock-in, they probably had an advantage of actually having their starting five roster compared to like literally every other team. Um, and I think they started practice a lot, or at least a lot before us. Um, and maybe like having five players that speak the same language is probably a lot easier at the beginning too. Yes. Um, but I still think they're like five individually really strong players. So to me, it's weird that they're having like a slower start, I would say. Um, but... I mean, I, I think they'll bounce back, and they'll be a decent team come playoffs. All right, last team I want to ask you about, ask you about is TSM. Uh, they are now in sole possession of last place after today. Maybe it'll change tomorrow, but as we're winding out the round robin, what do you think of them? Are they just doomed? Do you, do you think they need to make big changes, or are they just getting unlucky or making a couple wrong change, decisions every game? I think a different person on TSM is inting, or not inting, but underperforming every game. So okay. it's like... It's hard to pinpoint who's actually like playing bad. Right. Like, um, also like I obviously like feel bad for Shen Yi for like the after two weeks he's just gone. Right, it feels pretty bad for him. Um, so I don't know exactly what's wrong with them, but I think they're playing pretty poorly right now. And yeah, I mean, if something doesn't happen, I think they just might end tenth. Okay. Well, 
I guess we'll find out. All right, uh, Champions Q. I've been asking everybody about their thoughts on Champions Q. How, what do you think of Champions Q? I don't think you guys use it very much. Um, so I wasn't playing Champions Q before because my scrim days were ending very late. Okay. Um, and I was very tired at like 9, I like 9 10 p.m., right? Uh, I would be very tired, and I'd just go in solo queue and int. Okay. Um, not intentionally. Right. Um, but I've been playing... like that email that yeah, suggests... Yeah, exactly, yes, exactly. But recently I've been playing a lot more, but uh, I like three or four days, games a day, I would say. Not like Jojo Pune, ten games a day. Um, but it's very hard to find a game as jungle. Uh, I wait in queue for like 20 minutes sometimes, don't find a game, and it's just like boring. So I just started queuing mid, and I get instant queue pops. Okay. And right now I'm 5-1 and one on mid in Champions queue. So, yeah, I might just keep doing that until uh, I can find a game at Jungle. You're not part of the council, are you? I'm not part of the council. Okay. Have you thought of going to the council and being like, yo, can you let some more mid laners in or something? Because obviously it seems like maybe the roles are not uh, balanced in, in terms of who's using it. I don't know. I feel like mid laners are just more lazy and they just don't want to play. Okay. Like, I, I don't know what to tell you. I think junglers just, just want to play more. I, I don't know. Well, but they could solve this, right, by finding more challenger mid laners and, like, bringing them in? But then they'll just be really bad. I mean, so you think that there's not better players they could let into, like, this is as good as Champions Q is ever going to get? I think the more players they let, they let in, the worse the, the games will be. Yes, okay. yes. Unless there's, like, a new prodigy. I mean, because there's a, theoretically, there should be some players in, they don't let all the challengers in right now, yeah. right? So, theoretically, there should be some challenger players that are worth it. I don't know. I, I, I don't think anyone's played solo queue in the last two weeks, okay. three weeks, four weeks, ever since it came out. So I have no idea who's even good in solo queue right now. You um, said you've been playing solo queue. Oh, but I'm very low, okay. elo. I'm not challenger. I'm like, I'm like master tier, yeah. you know, because, um, yeah, I like to stay down there. Okay. But actually, this is great. I interviewed Whippo earlier today who was saying he thinks that LCS players should not be immune to the rank requirements. He's like... Uh, I think it was Masters, and they bumped it to Grand Masters. Yeah, so you would not be able to be in there underneath that. Do you? What do you think of his suggestion that LCS players should not be allowed in if they don't meet the solo queue requirement? Uh, I mean, if they make that a requirement, then I'll just play solo queue and meet the requirement. But personally, I think that's not the problem with Champions queue. I think there are, like... So you get in a lobby in Champions queue, and you can see the 10 players in the lobby, yes. but you can't see who's on your team. Right. So sometimes you get a very mismatched matchup in one role, and you're just sitting there praying that you have the other guy, not uh, flaming anyone. Yes. But it's very unplayable sometimes when it's mismatched that heavily, and then because there's no MMR system right now, they're implementing it, right. you can just get like five LCS players or five amateur players, and then the game is just boring. Okay, so here's the question for you. Say they bring in MMR, and then they add in some new mid laners, I, it feels like the like yes maybe like the average like skill of the players would go down uh, across the whole thing, but you might end up with more balanced games that can start sooner, right? Because they have the MMR to kind of like shove some of the not so great players down, or maybe you only end up like with two mediocre mid laners. Or you know what I mean? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. theoretically, it starts to get closer to solo queue in terms of like. But then it just becomes more like solo queue. Yeah, okay. But you're you're playing solo queue on eight ping, and you can come if you want. Yes. So maybe that's better. And, and no toxicity, theoretically, because they're, like, booting people who are toxic. Yes, no toxicity. Yes. Theoretically. Theor I mean, it's definitely going to be better than solo queue, right? You're not going to have one tricks. You're not going to have, like, people that are straight inting or anything. No, no, don't get me wrong. It's much better than solo queue. Yeah. And I love playing on 8 pink when it's 60. I'm just, I'm just saying, like, there's too many junglers playing yeah. and not enough mid laners okay. or maybe other roles. But I think support and top are very pop okay. popular, too. Um but it just depends when you queue. Like sometimes I queue mid and I get like a 10 minute queue. Yeah. So it's like, sometimes the other way. Is queuing mid decent for you at all or is it better to go solo queue jungle? Uh, I think playing another role is more helpful for you than playing your role, personally. Oh, okay. I think, well, more helpful is arguable, but it can be helpful in different different ways. Like, um, it's nice to learn matchups. Yeah. You playing them yourself so you understand what your laners need. For example, my mid laner always tells me he needs blue buff, but like, does he really? I don't know. I'm about to find out, yeah. you know? And, um... I think, like, unless you need mechanics practice on champs like Lee Sin, for example, is a very uh, mechanical champion that you want to play a lot to be really good at, that you can argue, like, okay, yeah, you want to spam Lee Sin, but, like, I don't know, me playing my, like, 50th Xin Zhao game is not going to make me any better at this champion. So my takeaway from this whole conversation is you don't trust Fudge when he says he needs blue. No, that's not the takeaway. <laughs>
Fudge never asked for blue, actually. Oh, okay. It was well, just not never. He yeah. doesn't ask for blue that often. All right. All right. Yes. Fair enough. All right. Uh, is there anything you want to say to any of the fans out there? Because I see a lovely member from Cloud9 over there who I think is waiting for you to wrap up this interview. Anything you want to say to anybody? Uh, yeah. Thanks for supporting us um, through like everything that's happened. And uh, I think we're going to do really well for the rest of Split. And yeah, keep cheering for us. Thank you. Well, thank you so much, Blabber, for the interview. Uh, congratulations on the win today. For everyone else, you can check out the rest of my coverage of all things LCS right here on my YouTube channel. Sometimes you find yourself in the darkness. So why not step out into the light uh, with brilliant monitors from Alienware, which you can get at alienware.com slash Travis. There's a link in the description below. There's also fantastic notebooks and desktops. Their notebooks have wonderful uh, panels on those as well if you're looking for a wonderful monitor, something 4K, maybe high refresh rate. Anyway, check out the description below. And by the way, it's so great to be filming these dumb outros back in front of the studio again. Dumb because I make them dumb, not because my sponsors are dumb. They're very, very cool.